What's up everybody? Here I am at the Savannah and Amazing Con as a vendor and this is my very first time ever being a vendor at a convention and I'm going to take you guys on this journey with me. Today's video is different than anything I have ever done before on the channel because this is going to be a vlog style video. I've never done a vlog style video on the channel. I'm going to be a vendor at a convention for the first time in my life. I've been guests at conventions, I've been attendees at conventions, but I've never been an actual vendor. I'm going to have a booth, I'm going to be selling a ton of inventory, and in this video I'm going to chronicle that journey. The convention is the Savannah and Amazing Con and Video Game Expo. It is a primarily anime convention in Savannah, Georgia, and it's going to be a very interesting experience. So I'm going to take you guys through what my process has been like, because I've never done this before. So I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm flying by the seat of my pants, going through a little bit of trial and error, but hopefully it all works out. So with this being an anime convention, naturally we're going to be primarily selling anime. We have hundreds and hundreds of anime DVDs and anime Blu-rays, also a small box of anime VHS tapes. Additionally, we're gonna be selling some anime themed pop figures and some anime themed video games. Uh, we have so much anime DVDs and Blu-rays that it is absolutely ridiculous. Here's just a taste of the Blu-rays, a taste of the DVDs, literally hundreds, probably around twenty to $25,000 worth of inventory on the anime DVDs and Blu-rays alone. Now, where do we get this inventory? Well, we have a family member, a close family member, that has a massive collection of all kinds of stuff, and he decided to downsize his collection, and so he turned over a large portion of his collection to us to sell for him, and we made a deal where we get 75% of the profit and he gets 25% of the profit. So there's a lot of stuff that we have to do to prepare. First thing we gotta do is we gotta sort through all this freaking inventory. We gotta get it inventoried on a spreadsheet, and then we gotta go through and we have to price everything for the convention. We're finding the cheapest comparable listing on eBay. We're taking that price, and we're taking 11% off that and then whatever we would pay to ship it off of that. So it comes out to probably 15 to 20% depending on how much it costs to ship the item. So we're trying to get the price around 15% below eBay so that we can always beat whatever the current eBay price is. So here is what I did. I actually took a sheet of graphing paper and I measured out the size of the booth. So each square on this piece of graph graphing paper would represent a square foot. So that would be 10 feet across, 10 feet down. So I kind of mapped out where everything would be. So I had to look at this space and figure out what can we do, what can we buy to maximize our inventory space for how we display our inventory for the customer. So I kind of, I, I measured out the, the eight foot by two foot table, how much space the chairs would take up. And then we bought two six foot by two and a half foot fold up, easily travel with tables. So we knew that we wanted to display the DVDs and Blu-rays with the spines pointing up towards the ceiling. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of what we're gonna do. We're gonna display all of the really expensive inventory in the middle, right in front of us. We've got all of the really expensive stuff here, right in front of us. So anything that's worth over $50 or more is gonna be directly in front of us to help combat any potential theft. Have all of the DVDs across here and then all the other inventory is going to be grouped by dvds blu-rays and vhs and in alphabetical order in various places and then we've got all of the anime blu-rays here and then we've got some pop figures here anime vhs tapes here but that's essentially what we did to map out how we are going to display all of our inventory to the customer okay so a quick update here we got everything priced, we got stickers on everything, and we've got everything packed and ready to go into the back of the truck, which I'm about to do right now. And just to kind of show you just how insane this is, so there's anime VHS tapes, pop figures in here. And then in these totes, we have a lot of the Blu-rays stacked and priced and ready to go. And then something else we did is we've got a marker for detecting counterfeit bills. So we're gonna use that on bills 20 or larger. 
and then we've got our full list of everything that we're selling in this binder. That way, we can mark when something sells with a check mark, and if something sells for more than the price that we're selling it for, or I'm sorry, less, if something sells for less than the price that we're, uh, the, our sticker price, if somebody negotiates or whatever, we can write down what it sells for. That way we can keep track of all that. Well, I've got all of the inventory in here. I've got our tables, our chairs, my tripod because I'm going to need that and I've got my dolly and we still got room to spare which is great. I have a truck bed cover to keep this stuff from getting rained on in case it rains on our way down which seems very likely. Well the next steps are to relax for the rest of the day try to get a good night's sleep because we have a seven six to seven hour drive ahead of us to get to the venue in Savannah Georgia. So after seven hours on the road, we just arrived at the convention to unload and get set up. So we're gonna go get our badges, start unloading and get set up. Here we go. Okay, so we finally got everything unloaded. We've got our spot. We've had a few difficulties so far that we've had to deal with. It's raining. The vendor parking lot area is a giant mud pit. We've had to contend with the rain, but we got everything in here as you can see here. So next step is to start unpacking and getting everything set up and situated. So let's do it. case so all right so this has been an interesting turn of events because when Andy got here he was guaranteed a table and some stuff happened and it but it ended up working out he got a table I did I got yeah. a table. But, you know we were worried that you weren't gonna be next to us yeah but check this out Andy is literally going to be connected to our booth, so awesome turn of events because we're literally sharing a vendor yeah. booth space with Andy. It's a retro wolf case table, <laughs> the we're, Pac Man Wolf table. Dude, I like, dude, I like Pac Man Wolf. <laughs> Pac, Pac Man wolf. wolf, Wolf Pack, Wolf Pack, dude, Dumb. Wolf Pack. Wolf Pack. We've got all of the really expensive stuff here right in front of us. And then we've got all of the anime Blu-rays here. And then we've got some pop figures here, anime VHS tapes here. And like I said earlier, Andy, AKA Pac-Man case on YouTube. Link in the description down below. Be sure and check this up, man bro. out. So to my channel, bro. <laughs> so to his, so to his <laughs> channel, bros. <laughs> Okay, it is the morning of the con, Saturday morning. We just got here. It is approximately like uh, 8.30, 8.45. Uh, the doors for the VIP people open at 9.30, and then at 10 o'clock, the doors open for everybody else. But now we got to get our sheets off the tables, do some last minute setup, and get ready for the crowd to arrive. We got one minute left the VIPs and then the doors open at 10 for everybody else so it's gonna be a madhouse in here are it's you gonna ready? Be wild. No. No, neither no. am I. Neither no, am they I. Can, they're gonna come at us like Spartans. We're gonna be okay though. Yeah we're gonna be alright. So far this is actually pretty big. You know why we're gonna be okay? Because we have each other. Okay, so it is right now 1046. 
Uh, we just got our first couple of sales of the day, which felt really good because I was getting a little worried there for a minute. And uh, Andy has also gotten some sales too. So I sold some video games. So far, so good, everybody. So far, so good. Closed up shop here, as has Andy. Closed up shop as well. I got, yeah, it's closed. It is closed. At least blanket means it's closed. That's what that means. All right, so one thing I don't think I mentioned to you guys earlier is, so we have roughly around a thousand dollars tied into this con in terms of an investment, and that consists of the price for four nights at an Airbnb, gas, food, we had to buy a few tables, we had to pay $300 for the booth itself, uh, we had to buy some totes and other miscellaneous little expenses. So we've got about $1,000 tied into this. So in order for us to break even and start making a profit, we needed to make at least $1,000. Well, I'm pretty happy to report that on day one, not only did we make all of our money back, so we made back our initial investment of $1,000 in everything that, that's been an expense, but we also made an additional $963 in profit on top of that. Day two starts tomorrow at 11 a.m. So we're gonna be back here and ready to go. It goes from 11 to five and then we break down and pack up. Day two of the convention, the convention floor has opened. It is progressively getting busier and busier. I'm seeing a lot of people walking around. We got everything set up and ready to go and we're hoping to make some more money today. So let's see what happens. What's up everybody? It has now been about a month since the anime convention. I'm in the game room right now actually filming for another video. That's why you see a green screen behind me. But I wanted to take a moment as we end this vendor experience video to go over with you not only the final numbers, but also kind of give you a good idea of how I felt about my first experience as a vendor at a convention. Now, but first, let's go ahead and talk about the final numbers. So the final numbers, and these are just rough numbers, not 100% exact. Our total expenses were around $900. Now, what do the expenses account for? That's hotel, paying for the booth at the convention, gas, food while we're in town, and other miscellaneous expenses came out to around $900. Our total revenue, this is rough estimate, our total revenue for the entire weekend was around $2,700. And that left us with a profit after, after expenses of around $1,800 for, you know, two days of work at the convention and about four days of work to prepare. We're pretty happy with that, especially for our first time vending at a convention. Overall, the experience was a very positive experience. There were some challenges. There were some issues that came up. I'm not going to talk about those, but we worked through those challenges and ultimately it was a success. And the fact that Andy was there with us right next to us, vending with us, made the weekend all that much more enjoyable. So we're definitely going to be vending at other conventions in the future, for sure, because we have a ton of inventory. We still got a ton of anime inventory left over too, but we also got a ton of gaming inventory inventory and this was just such a positive experience and now that we know we can do it we know we can pull it off we want to do it again it was a lot of fun i had a blast being a vendor at a convention even though it wasn't even really a gaming convention so i know i'm gonna have way more fun being a vendor at an actual game convention